Today's lesson is on conversion of energy. For odd periods, this will be due on Monday, February 3rd. For even periods, this is due on Tuesday, February 4th. This new idea of conversion of energy uh, has words that seem very close to this idea of conservation of energy. We've learned that this root word conserve means to save or to protect. And from this we know that the definition of conservation of energy is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So the energy initial equals the energy final. Uh, but today, we want to talk about the other part of the definition, which is that energy can be changed or converted from um, one form to another. And this idea right here is what we call the conversion of energy, uh, meaning energy can be changed one form to another. Uh, so the ideas are very close. Conservation means that energy can actually change forms. Conservation means that even with all of these changes, the total amount um, of energy should never change. We've talked about a number of types of different energies. The mechanical energies we've talked about are potential and kinetic. Remember, potential meaning um, has energy stored up, energy of position, kinetic meaning energy of motion, and the non-mechanical energies, such as radiant or light, uh, acoustic or sound, thermal or heat, chemical, and electrical. Uh, so using these types of energies, let's talk about some common ways that energy gets converted, talking about conversion of energy. The first one we should talk about, solar energy. Uh, solar energy takes radiant and heat light from the sun. So radiant, one of the types we've talked about, heat as well, or thermal. Uh, it takes these energies uh, and goes on to, for example, the uh, solar panels on a roof um, of a house. So we can think about how solar energy right here, this radiant energy, actually gets converted into um, electrical energy. And even from this, we can go ahead and then actually power lights, which in itself is actually a form of radiant energy. So you can see radiant energy going to electrical, and electrical could go back to a number of things, anything that can be powered by electricity. That idea of heat energy from the sun can also be used. For example, if we have cool air or cool water going into something uh, and we allow it to be heated through a transparent kind of contraption, then warm air or even warm water can come out. This is actually something that's used in some houses, some buildings, um, because it's very, very energy efficient. Uh, it doesn't require us to use anything to warm up stuff. It just does it through the sun's energy. So we've got heat energy from the sun, um, going into water or air and warming it up. If you want to think about this even more in depth, within the actual sun there's actually a reaction going on that converts energy as well. Uh, in the sun there are what are called nuclear reactions, um, which are a type of chemical reaction but those that release a lot of energy. So we've got nuclear energy going into the sun, from there we get our heat and our radiant energy. Another type of alternative energy we talk about a lot is wind energy. And what wind energy does, it, is, it takes the kinetic energy from wind, which is a type of mechanical energy, and it converts it into a, a non-mechanical type of energy. So wind energy, when it goes into our wind turbine, will actually turn our wind turbine. And from there, that rotating turbine, we actually can convert that kinetic energy into electrical energy. So this rotating turbine is what helps to make electricity. Oops, sorry, electricity. A possibly less familiar type of energy that you've heard of is hydroelectric energy. And what this does is it takes the potential energy from water that's very, very high up, and as it falls, right, it begins to convert into kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy turns a generator right here, and from that generator we're able to transform are from potential energy to kinetic energy into electrical energy. That's why we can see these words up here, hydro meaning water, electric obviously indicating that electricity is involved. Moving away from these ideas of alternative energy, we can even talk about energy transformation, transformation in our everyday lives, energy conversion. For example, radiant energy from the sun causes plants to undergo a process called photosynthesis. Um, and photosynthesis is the process of changing this radiant energy, radiant energy or light energy from the sun into sugars, which are a type of, oops, sorry, type of chemical energy 
that we as humans can then go ahead and eat. So we go ahead and we eat um, these sugars, and from there we are able to use that chemical energy in order to move, which remember is a type of mechanical energy. So we can see here radiant to chemical and chemical to mechanical. Some other really brief examples, think about when we drive cars, we're actually converting chemical energy from fuels, so, oops, sorry, can't see that, fuels, uh, which are chemical energy, into the ability for our car to move, which again is going to be a type of mechanical energy. From microphones, we can actually convert that acoustic, or sound energy, into electrical energy, so we can see our electrical energy, which helps to, which helps to amplify or make louder our voices. And then for toasters, we can actually use, think about how toasters get plugged in, we can actually use electrical energy, um, which enters the toaster and converts it into thermal energy, or heat energy, so that we can go ahead and have some delicious toast. All in all, there are tons of ways that energy can be converted. Right? So remember, converted means the ability to change. However, the total amount of energy before should still equal the total amount of energy after. So this up here is our conversion. conversion. And this down here is our conservation. Similar ideas, um, but definitely we need to think about both when talking about energy. That's all for today. Take good notes and see you later.